for round one. We're on the draw. This this seems fine to me. We're gonna want a few lands, but. Signal past. So in green, I would assume that's saying impact, but we'll see. I don't really see too many aggro non-impact green. I wonder if I should kill that. Probably not. If he's in fact, probably not. I mean, he is threatening to have both his colors there. That Platymere is a pretty good draw. It can lead to some uh, nuttiness for us. I think I'd rather just Galvanic Blast whatever he drops with that black mana. Ooh. We're going to have to wait to blast that. I think, though, we're we just pretty happy to drop a Platymere and hope it does not die. Because we certainly want to drop something like a Mere Turbine next turn. Go Mere Turbine, make a guy, blast Blight Widow. Uh, we might have to blast that Fallen, as a matter of fact. Because <laughs> that's pretty good against us. We can get greedy here and, and drop a, a Mirror Works. First things first, we're blasting the Fallen. Next, what are we doing here? Are we dropping... If I drop Mirror Works, I can actually play two Turbines next turn. That's just too much fun. Like, I might just die to uh, like a Pump Spell or something, but... I can't I can't resist that really. And uh long term I mean having having two mirror turbines is definitely better than having one and, and really gonna make it tough to push through without without flyers here. Ooh. Uh yeah, we're just dead. Well, I, I don't know. I think we were, we might have been dead anyway if he was going to drop future facts. Pretty good draw for him. Uh, yeah, not sure what we would have done. We could have blasted the Vladimir and, and uh, delayed him a bit. I mean, we would have been alive, but at one at one poison at nine poison. I mean, if we actually played the mirror turbine last turn, so it was not looking good either way. I guess. Uh, could have played, uh, could have played Neurocroplica earlier. Uh, turn the Tide might be okay here. Uh, I think Trigon of Thought is going to be a little clunky. I'd rather a Saberclaw Golem. Uh, one problem is, is that, uh, Pro artifacts guy. Maybe I want to try to get a rager in here. So I'm really weak to. I'm really weak to. Uh, protection from artifacts. I guess Mortipod does also solve it. So Mortipod, Surtark, Drake, Serpent, and adding a Rager seems fine. Although I'm, I'm stretching my mana base a bit to get the Rager in. If I'm going to play Rager, I've got to add a few Swamps.
fetching here. I mean, we're playing tons of artifacts, so it may not be the worst doing something weird like this. One, two, so gives us. Alright, I think I'm gonna take I I'd like an extra out to that three one artifact three one pro artifacts guy. Uh would I like to play first? No. Alright, this this is a reasonable hand. We are missing the black mana, but uh got mortar pod going, got replica going.
So, the following we're going to do right now, because I, I can't afford that surviving. Mortar pod will wait for his turn. Uh, the other mortar pod germ will wait for his turn. Um, to potentially chump block. Palladium mirror, I'm not, I, I could put a mortar pod on Palladium mirror. But, uh, if he has a future fax in his hand, I'm going to have to chump it with a Palladium mirror, I die. Tangle angler. Hmm. Okay. It's not terrible. Okay, so well we can just do it at any time. Since I'm doing it here. Uh you're gonna want a lead mirror. I think I'm just dropping two razor field rhinos though right now. Get some fatties on the board. Kill the goblins right now. Again, if he has pump, draw it out now. <coughs> Putrefax is if he draws a Putrefax, we're eventually going to be dead to it because he makes a tap two guys. Blight widow, blight widow's pretty annoying too, I guess. I think we gotta we gotta start attacking here. Um, so we have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana open. So maybe it's just gonna be drop two lead mirrors, two gust skimmers this turn. That seems decent. I mean, if he doesn't block this turn, he's gotta block next turn. We're in decent shape as long as we survive this turn. So, if he wants... He can tangle angler our, our entire team, but that leaves us with no green mana. So we're probably not dead this turn, which means he's going to have to do some blocking next turn. Which means I like our position right now. Not, I'm not really sure what his plan is if he's making our guys block. What's he going to drop for defense? I mean, he's got. I mean, he's got to make all, like. There's no point. In, there was really no point in that, right? Unless he's going to make all of our guys have to block. I mean, I guess like the only thing that would have made any sense, really, to me, was either all four of them. Because he has something in his hand, or just the one Gus Gamer to make to make me. I guess actually, this does probably get rid of both my Gus Gamers, but I don't think that's what's gonna save him here. I mean, he needs to draw something next turn. Um. It's not like we're, we're going to let the Blight Widow through and, and potentially die to pump here. And if he doesn't, he's got to play it a blocker, and that blocker is going to be a chump for the the Rhino, and he, even that may not, well, it's, prob it's probably enough to survive. Oh, okay. Uh, makes some sense, but I mean, we're just going to reset. 
Oh, actually, no. He he still needs to drop something. And then has if it's an artifact, he's gonna die. Darksteel Axe, playing Darksteel Axe ahead of time may have something, something going for it, but, I mean, just killing the Palladian here doesn't, doesn't do it. Yeah, okay, so he's just dead. I'm, I'm not sure what his hopes were there, then. Um, okay, so... The plan, the plan is to keep drawing a Palladium here, so that I can do lots of fun things. No, I think, I think we're gonna stick to this deck. fine. No blue mana, no green mana, but uh, no blue or green cards in our hand. We got Mortar Pod, Rager, Replica, so decent mana card drawing, the, the life loss is, uh, doesn't, doesn't uh, hurt us at all when we're against Infect. Mm, Alright, so we're gonna follow that up with a Mortar Pod here. I think we want to drop the Rager next turn. gonna drop the chrome seed here because and that that puts potentially the most pressure on him. Because we can drop two artifacts next turn. Uh we're gonna have to if it doesn't kill the Rager, we're gonna hope we trade it with the Corruptor. He's got a pretty sweet infect deck here. Alright, so uh, trading Rager for the Corruptor or a pump spell. Looks like it's just the Corruptor. Hopefully there's no Corkscrew here. Certainly a possibility. Blight Widow. Okay. Do you need an answer to that Plague Stinger at some point? Uh, uh, I gotta think about this. If I play Replica and 
the axe that's really weak to to artifact removal or any removal for that matter it's really like huh yeah I think what I want to do here is just play out the replica and not the the axe because I, I I I don't think I want to I can't really afford to lose the replica and not draw cards off of it. So if he attacks the blood widow, I can I can just double block and not draw cards. Is that worth it? Maybe. Hmm. Let's see how he attacks here. So if I double block the Blight Widow, he loses the Blight Widow, I'm going to lose the Replica with no cards being drawn. I could also trade Chrome Seed for the Goblin and just draw two off the Replica and hope something's relevant. I mean, there's no way he's going to choose to kill the the chrome seed over the replica here. Alright, I think I think I'm just gonna go with this way. I mean I could just try to keep the chrome seed. And just draw two here. I go to five it's weak against Putrefax, but I'm I, I'm just weak to Putrefax all around, I think. Uh, this put me in pump range as well. Yeah, I think I think we're gonna we're gonna lose the Chrome Steed here. I do have the axe to help make pretty much anything trade with that Blight Widow. Almost anything. Not, not the cards I drew, but <laughs> almost anything else. Oh, that, that's a good one. Definitely want to find an answer to that play singer, though. Because, uh, enough. P oh, Corpse is huge amounts of trouble for us. Cause he's gonna finish off our golem next turn. Yeah, so he's got a he's got a pretty sweet, pretty sweet insect deck. Two plague fingers, blight widow, corpse. We've only seen and corruptor. I mean, Goblin is mediocre, but I mean, uh, Goblin definitely becomes playable if it's surrounded by good ones. Just when you when you start running three Goblins, that's when it becomes pretty bad. Because the, the haste is is actually quite good for throw. I mean, get, getting in for f it, it's really like equivalent to four damage hastily, and which which really does throw off math like it did for us. Okay, so we're we're gonna need a hell of a top deck here. Uh, Spire Serpent's actually not bad. Uh, so yeah, I think we just go Spire Serpent, Leaden Mirror, because we can't equip the axe. I mean, he's just going to corrupt her the golem. And if he doesn't, well, we'll be happy to trade it for a Blight Widow. Corrupting the golem, 
think our plan here is to double block the Black Widow. And we're hope to draw something good. in deck deck. These are going to be tough to beat. Oh, this would have been nice a little earlier. Um, three. Two. Three. One. Okay. Uh, we are just dead on the board. <laughs> so... <laughs> um, maybe he doesn't see that. <laughs> He'll be so worried about me getting something good under a mimic that that he won't attack with the team. I'm ready. Yep. All right. See you next time. Next time, hopefully, we'll avoid the nuts. In fact, I actually like this deck quite a bit, but uh, yeah, not the right matchup for us. See you next time.